What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Lucid Motors and CCIV. Basically, they're rumored to be merging with each other. There have been no announcements yet. Everybody's speculating that the announcement that they're going to be merging together will happen this week, but we don't really know yet. So we're going to go over all of the information uh, surrounding the drama between the SPAC and the company and see if I think that there is any possibility that CCIV and Lucid Motors will be merging together and taking Lucid Motors public anytime soon. So if you guys enjoy this video, please go down and hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and make sure you turn on that post notification bell so you're notified every single time I post a new video and you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones and see exactly which options I am trading and which strategies I am using to trade them. So if we go over and take a look at the chart of CCIV, we can see that it's been on an absolute moon mission from the beginning of the year because that's kind of when these rumors started that CCIV was going to be taking Lucid Motors public. So we can see that they went down from all the way into the $10 range all the way up to its high in the $30 range. That's an absolutely insane run up. If you were able to get CCIV anywhere below 15, you made a bunch of money and especially when you're trading shares, a 100% return in this short of amount of time is really great. So basically what happened is that CCIV uh, really ripped up uh, towards the beginning of this week. And then when the rumors kind of fizzled down and some hope was lost, we saw the stock drop about 8.25% just today. And it is now down about 2% after hours. So let's get into the article that sent the stock falling. There is a clue, however, at the end of this article. So make sure you stick around. Uh, the clue is basically hinting at the fact that if you do some deductive reasoning, I actually had heard this name before and just looked it up and you can actually see that CCIV and Lucid Motors actually have a beneficial interest uh, in actually merging with each other. So let's go take a look at this article. We can see when news, news emerged in December that Churchill Capital Corporation 4 a blank check company with no assets beyond its $2 billion in cash had made an offer to acquire Direct TV. Its stock barely moved. After a report in January that Churchill was in talks to merge with the busy, uh, the buzzy electric vehicle startup Lucid Motors Inc., it was a different story. Speculation about the possible combination spread on Reddit and other social media platforms, fueled by Tesla's surge and a bet on a post gasoline future. Traders saw additional information online and pointed to a myriad to myriad bits of information to infer a deal was imminent. One online discussion prompted a trader to drive to an airport to photograph a jet that other traders conjectured was connected to the deal. So there are a lot of people that are heavily invested in these two companies and heavily invested in trying to figure out if this deal is going to happen and specifically when the deal is going to happen. So the stocks has surged more than 220% since the report last month, the biggest ever stock increase of a SPAC before announcing a merger, according to SPACinsider.com. Talks between the two companies are continuing, though a deal isn't imminent, according to people familiar with the matter. So that is the first clue, but there is a bigger second clue that we're going to go over later, but that is pretty good. They're actually saying that they are in talks uh, of actually making and getting a deal done. Coming down a bit further, we can actually see the main reason why the stock fell today. It has gotten very frothy, said David Erickson, David Erickson, a senior fellow at UPenn's business school and a former investment banker who took tech companies public in the dot-com bubble. The broad SPAC in the electric vehicle frenzy, quote, is gonna end badly. It's just a question of when and how. So this guy does have a lot of credibility when it comes to taking companies public and being in the markets that we are in. So when he comes out and says something like this and it gets it blasted out on something like the Wall Street Journal, the reaction is never going to be good. But if we come down a little bit further, we can actually see the biggest clue that I have found. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen this before, but Churchill 4 is headed by Michael Klein, a former star investment banker at Citigroup, that's pretty great, and advisor to Saudi Arabia's sovereign investment fund. That's the important part. If we come over here, we can actually take a look and see that uh, there is a lot of money 
uh, from the Saudi fund that is in Lucid Motors. We can see Saudi Arabia owns more than half of Lucid Motors, and that is through their Saudi uh, their Saudi Arabia's sovereign wealth fund. In exchange for the $1.3 billion investment, it closed last year, according to an email from the company's lawyers that was included in a lawsuit filed on Wednesday. So when we see that Michael Klein, the head of the SPAC, is an advisor to the Sovereign Wealth Fund and the Sovereign Wealth Fund putting a lot of money into this uh, company, Lucid Motors, they both have a beneficial interest in taking this company public. So the Saudi uh, Sovereign Wealth Fund has pre-IPO shares of this company. And since Michael Klein has uh, Churchill 4, Basically, Saudi's sovereign wealth fund most likely has a position in CCIV as well. That would be something to take a look at. If the Saudi Arabia's sovereign wealth fund has a position in CCIV and in Lucid Motors, they are going to make a boatload of cash if CCIV is the SPAC that is going to be taking Lucid Motors public. In my opinion, Michael Klein having ties to the Saudi Arabia's so uh, Sovereign Wealth Fund and Saudi Arabia's Sovereign Wealth Fund owning a very large stake of Lucid Motors is huge news to me. Uh, I really think that this uh, merger could happen in the near future, but we don't know and it really is all speculation. But we did recently see a dip in CCIV, so there are a couple of things that you can do if you want to get into this merger. So basically what you could do is you could just buy the dip uh, and put a l sum of money in there that you're willing to really fluctuate because this stock is extremely volatile as we will take a look at on the options chain by looking at the implied volatility uh, you could wait it out or we could come over here and we can actually sell some cash secured puts. So selling cash secured puts is actually a bullish strategy and it's similar to selling covered calls on a position that you already own. We're going to go over this option strategy in detail in my next options lessons video, but for right now, I'm going to explain it in brief. So if you want to buy a CCIV for $20 a share and you think that this merger could happen by May or you just want the expiration date on this contract to be for May, this is what you would do. So you would come over to the options chain and in order to get into this trade for the $20 strike, you would have to put up $2,000 in collateral in order to make this trade because you are agreeing to buy 100 shares of CCIV at the price of $20 by May 21st, 2021. So essentially what would happen is that you would post the collateral of $2,000 and you would be able to collect $480 in premium. Now you can do whatever you want with this premium. It is yours to keep. The only thing that can happen is that you get exercised and uh, assigned these shares and you would just have to buy the 100 shares of CCIV at this price of $20. So you know exactly what you would be spending on this trade and you know exactly uh, what you are collecting in premium. The good thing about selling cash secured puts, especially on stocks that have such an extremely high implied volatility like CCIV does, we can see it's upwards of 150% on almost every single strike on the options chain, you are going to be able to collect a lot of premium. So when you sell this, you're almost guaranteed to make 25% on this trade. Now, you're only making the full 25% on this trade if this $20 put expires completely worthless. So a 25% gain on a $2,000 position by May is a pretty good deal. So if you guys want to get into that options, uh, options trade or learn more about selling cash secured puts, make sure you stay tuned for my next options trading lesson video. So that's going to be it for this one. If you guys enjoyed what I had for you in this video, please go down and hit the like button and hit the subscribe subscribe button and make sure you turn on that notification bell. It really helps me get this information out to as many people as possible and you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones and see exactly which options I'm trading and which strategies I'm using to trade them. So I hope you guys are having a really profitable day and I'll see you guys in the next video.